So, how long does it take to travel one light year with the current technology? Well, thanks to Albert Einstein's theories of relativity. We know that our universe has a speed limit. This limit is set by the speed of light, which travels a staggering 299,792 km per second. If we are looking at hours, that translates to 1.1 billion km per hour. For a little context, if you as a human could somehow be able to travel at the speed of light, then you would be able to circling the Earth 7.5 times in just one second. Well, it's another matter that you fire up yourself in the journey due to atmospheric resistance. Since the universe is such a vast place, if we measured distances in miles or kilometers, we would be working with some amazingly huge numbers. So, we measure cosmic distances according to how far light can travel in a year. If you are wondering, there are just about 31,500,000 seconds in a year. And, if you multiply it by 186,282 miles, which is the distance that light travels each second, you get the distance that light travels in one year. Which is about, 5.9 trillion miles, or 9.4 trillion kilometers. In short, on Earth, we talk about things in relation to feet, or meters. But in the cosmos, we talk about things in relation to light. For example, the Milky Way galaxy is some 100,000 light years across. And our closest galactic neighbor, Andromeda, is some 2.5 million light years away. In other words, it takes light 2.5 million years just to travel from our galaxy to the one that is right next to us. Remember that the next time, when you see a Hubble image that shows a host of galaxies dancing across the cosmos, what you are looking at is amazingly far away. The time that it takes us to travel one light year is considerably longer than a year. In fact, it takes between six months and a year just to reach Mars, which is only 12.5 light minutes away. And, it took New Horizons nearly a decade, to make its way from Earth to Pluto, which is just around the corner, 4.6 light hours away. This duration is a bit of a problem, as it makes space exploration, pain in the ass. Even if we take a ride in the Space Shuttle Discovery, which can travel, 7.5 kilometers a second, it would take us about, 37,200 years to go, one whole light year. And now, many of you wondering, what about driving? That would take us some 11 million years, that's assuming that you managed a constant speed of, 100 kilometers per hour, and didn't stop for any bathroom breaks. But the good thing is, technology is improving very fast, and, possibly we will someday find a way, to travel these long distances in a short amount of time. So, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, see you next time.